Right, okay, welcome Brett, um, finalist in the um, Phase of USN campaign, the chance for a year sponsorship. Are you excited? Yeah, it's obviously a great opportunity to work with a company like USN, and one that should help my athletic performance. So. Um, how do you, oh, it's okay, we'll, we'll get straight to the point then. I was going to like put some nice to so we'll come, we'll come back to that. So let's let's follow your, your, so when you say help, how will it help, how can it help? Obviously sports nutrition is huge, like we train twice a day, every day. What do you do? Uh, discus. Okay. Uh, so. so a lot of event specific stuff, but obviously you know, a lot of weightlifting, you need to be strong. But also me personally, I can't be too heavy, you know, mm. trying to run speed, so sports nutrition is massive for me. And on the health front, because I've got Crohn's disease actually, so I've got to be very cautious on my health and nutrition and diet. Ooh, so. so tell me about that, what's Crohn's disease? No, it's just, that's not good basically. Uh, it's inflammation of the bowel constantly. Yeah. Well, actually, it's stuff from the past. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, when it flares up, it causes a lot of issues. Uh, so can't train, can't eat, can't sleep. Hospital visits, all this kind of stuff. Mm. Not see, not how long? How long have you had? How, when were you first diagnosed? Did I got at the Olympics in 2012. So oh, I was okay. ill for like a month before. I was losing loads of weight, and yeah, it just wasn't very good. And no one knew why, and I kind of kept to myself because I thought at the time actually I was dieting. Yeah. So I kept it myself because I wanted to go to the Olympics and uh, competed 15 kilos lighter and started camping. So you still you still went and competed, and, and yeah. had, you, had you hidden that from everyone? Well, people, the doctor knew something was wrong because he wants me daily, and I was like losing weight rapidly. Mm. But uh, yeah, I kind of said to him like, I'm going to compete because I'm yeah, I've qualified and I've worked hard for this, so we're going to compete. Of course. So yeah, I've had it since then, but it's something I'll deal with as long as I manage my nutrition properly. Then mm. most of the time it's okay. So you're using USM products at the moment to help with that, or is it, I mean, when you do with your diet? Actually right now I'm not using any products at all, so mm. something more. Uh, I actually quit sport for about six, seven months this year. Okay, what was the reason for, for that? Because I was working full time actually for, in, in the fitness industry for yeah. a company called Promix, I worked in the marketing oh, department. Ah, okay, I know Promix, right. I worked in the marketing department there, mm. and uh, I was struggling to obviously work like long hours every day. If you're working probably uh, eight o'clock till six every day, but then to fit two training sessions in, uh, I can do it, but with the Crohn's, high levels of fatigue, you can get flat and get ill. So I was struggling. How common is that? How common is that disease? Do you know? It seems to be getting more common. IBD, like. Is that because the diagnosis is better, or is it just that yeah. it's on the rise? Do you know? I think it's probably better both really. Yeah. I think 10, 20 years ago, we normally knew people just thought you might have bad guts. Like, yeah, yeah, but, sure. Uh, it seems to be on the rise a little bit. Like I speak to my specialist about it, and he said the last five years definitely has been an increase. That mm. could be down to the quality of food, the quality of living, I guess, in general. So they don't really know what the reason behind mm. it is. But I think for me, if I look after my diet, make sure I rest properly, then mm. sure. I'm in control. Like I haven't had a flare for five years. Oh, right. Okay, that. okay, that's that's nice to. Yeah, I've certainly not five days where I'm struggling a little bit, but mm. looks like I'm going to rest. Do you find that it's affected your self-esteem? At first, yeah, I struggle a lot of it because it's kind of a, not a good issue. Sometimes when we sat here, we have a conversation with some lean or something, I've got to like, run into the toilet. Mm. But it's not even much a problem now because I know I was a manager, but at first, definitely, yeah, I struggled with it a lot. And in the World Championship in 2013, I was ranked sick from the world going in, potentially trying to win a medal. And I couldn't warm up because I had a bad stomach. Mm. So everyone's on that. And nerves probably make it worse as well. Yeah, right? I'm warning, so my qualifying round was 8 30 in the morning. so. Everyone's there warming up, and right, Brett, Brett next, I'll have to run off. Mm. Next round, next one up, I'm going to have to run off again. So I'm going to the World Championships, in my mind trying to get close to winning medals. Mm. And I can even warm up or anything, so not ideal, but I've learned how to deal with it now, but back then it's a problem. So let's go Let's go back to pre-competition and you know pre-Olympics and pre... Who, who, who was Brett? Who was Brett growing up? Uh, a very competitive guy. Like playing rugby football, I didn't play do athletics on my show, it was just rugby football mainly. Mm. Uh, really competitive, hate losing. Uh, Brothers, um, sisters? Yeah, like a brother who's actually British champion for the same sport as me, he's going to go to America next year. Jealous? Jealous? Is he better yeah. than you? No, at that age, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm not right now, he's only 16. Yeah. But he's bigger than me, he's taller than me. So, uh, does so, he look up to you? Yeah. So, I coach him and stuff, so that's good. But and my sister didn't get involved in sport or fitness or anything like that. So, you've obviously entered the face of, of USM campaign. So, what do you want to get out of it other than. Do you want to get anything other than performance increases well, out yeah, of it? The main goal for me is performance, but uh, 
but I've started doing this modelling in the last like six months and that's taken off a lot and there's me and another guy gonna put together a big fitness and health video to help like more of like plus size people. We went to a festival and um, Is that a passion of yours? I was part of a personal trainer so like that kind of thing is what, why why plus size models? Because we went to a fitness uh, ex um, not fitness sorry, my apologies. We went to a what's it called like went to like a big festival, oh, sorry, like yeah. a fashion festival thing. And there was mainly plus size people there. And uh, we noticed that like no no issues with people being bigger, larger, mm. whatever, but sometimes it comes across as quite unhealthy, the importance of internal health because of my mm. personal issues with the coronavirus and stuff. I don't know the importance of the internal health. So we're just gonna put together a video, a few videos, a bit of a series, Aiden I and she's gonna back in stuff and uh, talk about health, fitness, nutrition, supplements, mm. all this kind of thing, just to try and like improve people's health because that's quite important. Okay. So I'm I'm gonna be really, really direct here. Um you, you've come through highs and lows. What would you say your What would you say your biggest low has been? Then I think I know what your biggest low has been. But what has your biggest low been? Uh, probably the Olympics in 2012. Now, the year before, I was the youngest finalist in the history of art sport, mm. and I was on the rapid rise of the world in 23. And although on paper it might be difficult to get a medal at that age, mm. and like how quick I was improving, it could mean potential for medal mm. medal. Then from getting ill and being in my mind and everyone else's mind around me a medal, like contender, I became a nobody. And like I never really it's That's an interesting thing, you became a nobody. What do you in mean my mind, by that? In my yeah, mind so what do you mean by that? I've never been with someone who's wanted to go compete and to get some kit or get some sponsors or get some free stuff. I've the word nobody though. It's quite, yeah, it's quite, no, no, I mean, but if that's how you felt, well, I just want to get into that, yeah, like, you know, that I, psyche. So I competed the day after the Super Saturday thing, so like Jess Ennis, Mo Farah, Gregor, mm. they won their gold medals. So I'm watching that the night before, almost knowing that I'm going to go and fail, because physically, I, I can sleep, I can eat, in a power event, I went to the bench in 200 kilos to like, hardly be able to see the bar off the, the rack and stuff, so mm. my power was low. I knew before competing, I had no chance. Mm. We were sitting with pride only and thinking I want to win a medal. So and this is all because of the illness, right? Yeah, I didn't know what was wrong at the time, but mm. like, you know, just looking at myself, I was drained, I was tired, I was well, training, was also showing I was way off the pace, and that was very difficult for me. And you've come out, and it was very, and I can imagine it being very difficult, but I, I know what it, what it's like as a, as a, and you're a solo athlete, which makes it personified because it's all about you and it's all on you, and you've got to be selfish. Right, you're not going to be a world champion without being a little bit selfish about yeah. what, what what you do, and 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 I understand that battle. But do you not do you not think that because I'm not hearing you talk about and and forgive me if I if I've got the wrong end of the stick, I'm not hearing you talk about helping others who have gone through a situation like yourself. It's about you directing your own achievement. Well, Is it? I, and I've forget, done a lot of charity stuff for the charity sponsors uh, across the UK and, 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 and work for a lot of people. And that's what I wanted to so tell me about that then. So uh, I've been involved with um, Crohn's and Colitis UK and United for Colitis where... This is a big deal, right? Yeah, I guess. Well, yeah. Like, I, I like helping people anyway, so yeah. like, this, I did an Alzheimer's charity thing to only two days ago. Mm. Like, free, obviously, no, no money needed and like, my time taken out is fine. Like, well, I enjoy doing that stuff anyway. Like, mm. To me, it doesn't seem like a big deal because it's always something I've just done. But you've got it, but I think maybe, just, okay, let me give you a different outlook then on that. So I've gone through your social media, all right, and I'm going to be brutally honest. There's nothing about that really from the pictures that I'm looking. It's mostly modeling, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. mostly that type of thing. Do you not think you'd reach out to way more people? Do you not think you could be an amazing role model to people who have gone through that? Maybe. And to know that you've gone through, it's sort of like, you know, when we talk about the mental health issues, about people coming yeah. out and saying, actually, I've gone through this myself and yet I've got to there. I wrote an article on mental health last year because of uh, my issues with my current supplies, my confidence was low, like I thought there was no chance of me ever performing at the level again. Mm. <clears throat> so at that point, I, didn't, I don't think I was depressed or anything, but... I think, I know, I think there, there, there must have been an element of depression there. There's got to be. Yeah. I wouldn't say it was severe, but yeah, it was like to the point where I almost like I questioned myself the first time ever. And not more than question myself, I didn't believe I was physically capable of doing something anymore. Something that was, in my mind, easy to achieve as long mm. as I was work and then became almost impossible to me. Do you think that might be a common thing? Do you think other people might be going through those battles? 
and not knowing, because some yeah. people might not be as, as headstrong as you, yeah. right? They might. Do you not think that those people might need someone? One of my best friends actually went to the Winter Olympics, so I sort of lived at university and trained the other way. I think he was a Sochi in the bobsled. He's got the same thing as me, I and mean, I know he struggles a lot more than me, so he's in a bad, in a bad way. He calls me to speak to me. And there's thousands out there that are going to be the same that yeah. won't have anybody to to look up to. They might even be embarrassed by a condition like that. I mean, I'm maybe I'm yeah. being like you know. No, there are a lot of people like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you not feel that maybe? that could be something that you could help so many people with because I think, uh, forgive me if, if that's not the route you want to go uh, down. I think if I'm publicising my work for charities and I think he's... That's how you do it. Doing it for my own game when that's not the reason I do that. I do it for a type of people. And I get that and, and that's a bit of a, an integ integrity part of yourself that's doing that. But if it's done in the right way, surely people are going to be thinking, yeah. Man, this guy's been through the mill and look at where he, you know, look, look at, that's, another, that's inspirational, right? That's another reason I've like, taken the sport back up, so I wanted to go to Tokyo in 2020 and reach the potential I was showing, and then I can say to people, look, I've been through all these problems, and I'm hopefully when I'm in Tokyo. Let people 20. go through the journey with you, surely. Yeah. I don't know, mate. I there think, I think you know what, I, and I'll be honest with you, I've looked at your social media, and, and I'll be like, fair enough, he's a, he's a world champion. Massive, you know, you massive respect to anyone who competes at that level. Yeah. Way beyond what everything I've done in terms of Olympic sport and those type of things. Fair play to you. But that's all I've seen there. And the and modelling pictures actually. Now I'm talking to you, and I'm seeing who you really yeah. are. That people, inspires me way more. A lot of people do say that to me, but like, just need, like Do you people. listen to them? Yeah, I try. It's difficult because the Instagram thing I use more is like catalogue for the modern stuff like so mm. that's my portfolio kind of thing. I don't really use it to express me as a person. It depends what you're trying to if you if you want to be out there inspiring people, yeah. what are you gonna get? I mean if modeling's gonna be your main game of, of money. I think long term but like right now I've got like, like the sport yeah. sport and aspirations I can't really let that go to like, achieve what I believe I can. And so do you do you see this campaign as an achievement think? Is no. that what you're uh, obviously, it's a massive achievement. Like uh, working with a company like this, like mm. this doesn't come around every day, and it's like one of the world leaders in sports nutrition, so it's unbelievable. But on the other hand, it is helping me as well. Well, that's right. got to help you. There's yeah. got to be something for both, yeah, right? Otherwise, like, there's no point doing. I'm it. not doing this to be. Oh, look at me! Look what I am, face of the USN. Like I'm not doing it for that purpose. Obviously, it helps people. On my my profile might build because of it. Yeah. Body will build because of it. And what will that's that do for you? Your profile building. What will that do for you? In a sporting sense, nothing was in the gym and the training environment. Like I've got to put the work in, otherwise I don't get better. Yeah. Like, that's how many people follow me on social media. Mm. I don't put the work in, I get beat, and that's as simple as it is. But in life, I guess it'll be good because, like you said, if I'm going to do stuff for Conrad and Clyde, this kind of thing, I think you're missing the more people know who I am, mm. better. And obviously, on the modern aspect of things, uh, more jobs I get if my profile's bigger. So I'm not, those kind of things are good, but in the sporting world, like I'm just like, mm. focus on working hard. And, do my job in the gym and on the field. Really. But why do you want to be the face of USM? You know, give me a give me a brief snapshot for the camera. Like, don't look down the camera. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but a brief, but a brief. Why do you want to be the face of USM? Well, like I said the company is huge, it's unbelievable. Uh, like the first actually sports nutrition company I was ever involved in was USM back in 2007. Like, there must have been an embarrassing moment in training or in the gym. Have you ever had like a ridiculous moment where you've just wanted the... Well, if you follow my life, it's... <laughs> I mean, those days. Everyone's used to have funny stories about me in training. Uh, come on, give us one. Give us one. Give us a good so, one. Well, I don't know. Give us some gossip. <laughs> I don't know if they're all funny, but like since off the top of my head, uh, I mean, I basically partially dislocated my shoulder. I've gone to run and jump on gymnastics rings and swing, and they weren't attached. <laughs> <laughs> so I run and jump. Sorry, I'm not laughing. <laughs> I'm, I could actually picture it. That'd be in the lad Bible fails, that one, wouldn't it? So I ran like 20 meters away, and my training partners know they're like, he's gonna jump on it, and he knows for a fact it's not on. And there's like a gymnastic horse in front of it. Jumped on the swing. Oh, no. They've actually just gone, hit me like, head first into this horse. So part of this came on shoulder doing that, and that's like, that was a long time ago now. That was like hey, that's not the best one today. That's yeah. like, the best one today. Yeah. That was yeah. brilliant. Yeah. Just match them. So thanks for coming to see us. Good luck Thank for the face of the USN campaign. Thank you. Wish you the best of luck. And um, who knows where we go from here?